So we have finally received our package from Wolfpack Petwear. We are so, so excited to open it. Look at how lovely it's been packaged. Lovely it's been packaged, does that make sense? Um, this is actually our second package to receive from these guys, but it's our first package that we've ordered since we've become brand reps for them. So I am super duper excited about this. As is Daisy apparently, because she is very possessive of it. We might have to put her on. Daisy now has to watch from her pen because she gets, she resource guards and it's something we're working on with her, but, but you know how it is. But yeah, so let's, let's get on wrapping. Okay, let me, let me work out my makeshift tripod life again. Indy, Indy, are you opening these by yourself? Yeah, apparently, apparently guys. Right, I feel like I should open these nicely. Right, okay. Remi remember, guys, this, this is my makeshift tripod, okay? Okay. Okay, might edit this bit out while I'm working out what I'm going to do with my tripod. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So... Let's start with, I want to know what I want to start with actually. Let's start with this lovely pink package. What do you think, Candy? Oh, this is exciting. I know this one's exciting. Yeah, I know. I know you want to get in. But baby, I'm better at opening it than you are. I promise. I promise. Look, 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 look. Look, come back, 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 back. Look. It's in there. You're gonna get it out. Right, so that, that is Cindy in the bag. You're gonna put it out for everybody to see. It's a good girl. Oh, oh, oh dear. That's not gone so well. That's not gone so well. That's not gone so well. Okay, I'm excited about these. Clearly not as excited as Cindy. But these are. Beautiful Joe's Ethical Dog Treats. We have not tried these before in this house. Although by the looks of it, we'll be trying them very, very soon. So, every time you buy a packet of super tasty dog treats, we give the same quantity away to your rescue centre. Our treats are 100% natural with nothing added and use British free range and or organic and or wild ingredients. If you sell our treats on behalf of a good canine cause, we will offer you a generous fundraiser discount. I mean, that's great. That's, that's a great cause. Right, I'm not going to talk about these too much more today because Indy Pindy Pom Pom is losing her poop over them. Um, I think, I think I'm going to have to be right back and put these in a safe place out of Pindy's reach. Alright. Okay, reverse. Reverse, good girl. We also got this little package. I have a feeling this little package might actually be some treats. I think it might be. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not giving them any more paper to shred today. I spent my whole life picking up shredded paper. Oh, oh, this, this is it. This is nice things for the girlies. We like fish skins. Okay, we might be able to open the rest of these without Indy's interference now. Ah! You're ruining Mummy's makeshift tripod! All for it. Look, 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 look. There you go. These are fish skins, which I think you can also actually buy on Wolfpack Petwear's um, website. I'm not 100% sure. There you go, Twig. Look at Twig is so gentle, but she's never never really sure hey do you want some good girl good girl she's so good all right let me just go and give daisy hers there you go dear yeah i did just fire that into her food bowl but she won't mind all right okay might be able to open the rest of these in peace oh not if I keep throwing my makeshift tripod on the floor. I'm so good at this. Okay. 
Okay, here we are. Here we go. Right, package number two. Let's do this lovely pink one and pink string. I'm being so careful not to let the dogs get paper, although they won't care now they've got fish, fish skin. Because I literally spend my whole life picking up bits of shredded paper off the floor. <laughs> Look, can I have another one, please, guys? Can I please, can I please have another one, guys? <laughs> no more for you, small baby. This is exciting. I'm super excited about this. Okay. So. Right, okay, let me lift the camera up. Out of my makeshift tripod again. How cute is this? Look at this cute, cute little bit of paper with owls on it. Nicole and floofs. Yeah, I do have floofs. You're a floof, aren't you? Are you a floof? Are you a floof? Are you going to wag for us? You're not going to wag unless I got a treat? I don't have a treat. Are you going to wag? Pick a your floof. She's like, I'm hungry. I finished mine too, guys. Daisy, are you in the antisocial corner? Yeah. And um, let's see if we got one more baby floof. Go floof, Pindy, Andy, Pindy, Pom Pom. Yeah, no, nobody cares about being a floof because they're all too busy eating. Right, so this. Oh, this is an envelope. Okay, let me let me open this. Bear with me, and then we'll talk about all these cute bandanas that I've ordered. Oh no, I've ripped the envelope, and it's such pretty stationery. I'm already devastated. What have I done? What have I done? Oh, this is cute. This is adorable. Let me just read it. You guys can wait in the background. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, this is so lovely. I love handwritten letters. And it's addressed, Dear Nicole, Indy, Small Baby Twig and Daisy. Thank you very much for your orders and for your amazing support of our small business. It's, it's a little bit long, so I'm not going to read it all to you guys. But you can see they've actually gone to the effort of handwriting us a letter, which is so lovely. And look at this lovely stationery. How cute is that? That's lovely. Oh, that's, yeah, I, this is why I love buying and support, buying from and supporting small businesses because they put so much effort into everything that they supply. And I just, I just think it's lovely. Okay. Let's actually look at some of these bandanas. This is exciting. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to know all the names of the fabrics off the top of my head. Don't judge me for not knowing, but what I will do is tag the video with them. So they'll come up as, um, as I go through them. So this one oh and they also they have two different varieties of tags um and i did ask them to mix and match these so you'll see that as we go through i love this one this one is named after a village don't ask me to remember what the name of the village is but look i don't know if this is a stork or a heron i'm not good with birds i love birds like i love birds in terms of like having birds on decor and stuff but i'm not very good at identifying them but look at how lovely it is and this is an over the collar bandana and i just thought for the little ones this is a good idea because well it, it's indie more so than daisy she just she's um she's a bit of a nightmare bless her but this is lovely material right these are the first bandanas i've actually received from wolfpack pet but this is lovely this is actually even though it's thin material it's thick if that that doesn't make any sense does it um it just feels like it's good quality I can't, I can't explain it to you. I don't know fabrics well enough. I'm throwing them on the floor. It's, I think it might be double lined. That's exactly what it is. So it's thin material. Um, so it's not necessarily thick material. Is that going to focus? I don't know. But you can see it's double lined. So that's it. That's why it sounds so, that's why it feels like such good quality. Because it is. And look at the stitching. Yeah, that's beautiful. Love that. And then we've got cac cacti, right? Cacti is the plural of cactus, not cactuses. I'm sure someone told me off for that before. And again, I mean, it's, it's the same as the other bandana. It's beautiful quality. Another over the collar for the little girls. Bandanas? No. Yeah, well, yeah, bandanas. 
but bananas how exciting is that i mean i know not everyone will get excited over a banana but i just think this is super cute i love it i think it's great yeah i'm excited about that yellow is my favorite color as you can probably tell from my engagement ring so yeah please with that okay so i'm excited about this one and all you harry potter fans out there will probably be excited about this one too um we have got a set so we've got slytherin we have got ravenclaw and we have got hufflepuff so i'm definitely 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 going to be doing a post with the four girls and there's four Harry Potter houses. I think that's so cool. And then we have got... Oh, yeah. Okay, we had a bit of confusion with this. Because we didn't know whether we were going to get double-sided or not. We have got a double-sided dire wolf bandana for Twig. Because she is our special little wolf. I mean, I'm calling her little Twig. You're not little, are you, pig? Why won't that focus? You're not little. Pig, here. Come on. Oh, she's such a gentle giant. But we just had to get this for her. So it's blue on one side. And look, let's see. It's blue on one side and grey on the other. But I know they have a limited stock of the grey material. So if you guys want your own direwolf bandana in the grey. I'm pretty sure it's the grey material they have limited stock on. Then I would get in touch ASAP to get yours ordered. They can make these in over the collar or tie neck. I got this one in tie neck because Twig's, Twig's a good girl. Um, I got all of the Harry Potter ones in over the collar because I wanted I wanted there to be some consistency. Um, but yeah, my bigger girls do well with, with tie necks. And Direwolf, obviously fa for fans of Game of Thrones, right? I didn't need to explain that, but I'm going to anyway. Right, our, our little horror child who's in the antisocial corner, we call it the antisocial corner, she actually likes her pen most of the time to be honest, um, so she resource guard, she has some issues, she didn't get the best, she had a good start, she came from a good breeder, she's Indy's biological sister so she was a litter mate, um, but she didn't go to a great home first time round, so we didn't actually get her until she was four and a half, five months old and she has some issues um which we are working on and she is good most of the time but sometimes sometimes she's a little bit sensitive she resource guards she doesn't do well with strangers outside of the house so as you a lot of you will know yellow is sort of the universal color for nervous dogs so we got daisy her own little named yellow bandana that she can wear out and about and we think this is super cute and actually even if you don't have a nervous dog i mean that's pretty let's be honest that is lovely okay these these ones i'm excited about as well this is another set so these were inspired by orange is the new black hands up if we've got any orange is the new black fans in the audience devastated that the last season is airing this year i i mean i don't know what my life is going to be without it but yeah these are inspired by orange is the new black and they, I think these are called Through the Wire, actually. Um, spelled T-H-R-U. And these have all been personalised. You can get all of your bandanas personalised. They do different prints. I went with black. Um, I like the black. So this is, this is Indies, obviously. Then we've got Daisy. Small baby. With a tie neck. And... And twig with a tie neck. But I love these. These are so, so pretty. Okay, so that's all the bandanas, I think. I actually have some more on order because I can't help myself. Um, I love this paper. I actually want to reuse it. But I probably won't because I can't keep paper in this house. Because I've got little witch weasels who like to eat it. Don't I? You witch weasel. Are you? Yeah, she's she's a witch weasel. So I will probably just have to put that in recycling. But next we have I think these might be snooze. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Yes. Yes, these are snooze. So this one so small baby and indie pindy 
already have snoots. So now we've got one for twig and we've got one for dew. So bear with me. Let me let me just unwrap one so you can kind of get an idea of how it feels. Oh, oh my god, these smell so good. Um, I don't know if that's weird. I it actually kind of reminds me of the tap cleaner I used to use when I um when I used to be with the horses when I was younger. It smells a bit like saddle soap, I don't know, but I just hold it up to my nose again. It smells really, really nice. Um, and so yeah, this is lovely fleecy material. Fleece is probably the wrong word, but it's like woolly. It's almost like toweling. Um, and it's lovely baby pink, but they do this in a whole range of colours. And um, yeah, they'll make them to fit pretty much any animal, which is pretty cool. Um, these probably are a little bit more wintry, to be honest with you, but... I, I just couldn't help myself. I, I needed to have these in my life. And twigs. Now twigs I would say is more fleecy. Let me let me just open this. Bear with me guys. I know you're seeing black screen at the moment. Oh this is nice. Can you see it? It's like a mustard colour. And I just think that'll go lovely with her coat. Let me see if I can just pop it on her quickly. Twig, here. Here. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, you're so lovely, Pickle. You're so lovely. I'm gonna. No, she's like, I'm not gonna sit and show you guys. Take care. I got a fish skin. <laughs> Come here, I've got a fish skin. I think. Oh, no, I don't. Oh my god, guys, this is what I can smell. Sorry, I expected this to be fish skins. This is. Okay, wait, I'm not gonna ruin that surprise then. Let me actually get them something to make a pose. Right, what have I got for you, Twig? I don't want to open my beautiful Jones yet. Let's, oh, let's go with some place fish sticks from Green and Wise. Let's, let's give you one of these, shall we? These smell absolutely foul, but the girls love them. So, this is what we're talking about. Come on, sit. So this is Piggle's beautiful snood. And that, actually, I've not really put that on her properly. But you can see it's lovely. It goes lovely with her coat. I need to kind of roll it down a bit. <laughs> Look at how cute she is. But yeah, you've got the gist of it, haven't you? There you go, Twig. And she's so gentle. Look. Yeah, good girl. Right. Um. Oh, sorry, but... I will, I will, I'll get you some, uh, I will, I will do some for you in a second. Okay, now I'm being a bad mum and not treating them fairly. But this is what I could smell that was smelling divine. Okay, I don't think I ordered this, so I think this was just a cute little freebie. <laughs> the dog and I guide to using our soap. This is why I thought it smelled like tap cleaner and saddle soap. It's actually soap. This is from the dog and I? The dog and I. Let's pronounce my words properly. Watch while your dog finishes drying himself. <laughs> okay, this is funny. Right, I'm going to read it to you. Hide all evidence of upcoming bath. Catch dog, use bribery if necessary. Convey dog to bath. Continue to bribe. Secure dog, block off all escape routes. Thoroughly wet dog, warm water is usually better received by said dog. Yeah, I, I, I can imagine that. Rub soap all over, lather well, avoid eyes. Yeah, one wants soap on the eyeballs, would we pooches? Rinse until water runs clear. Use a lovely fluffy towel to dry. I know, protest do. I know, we'll get you some in a second, baby. Um, This is made with just three ingredients. So it's coconut oil, water and lye. Nothing more. Let me see if this will focus. No parabens, no SLS, no SLES, no surf... So, okay, I can't say that. No surf surfactants, no artificial perfumes, no preservatives, no plastic bottles can help... This is amazing. <laughs> What's the catch? A little more elbow grease is required. I think we can cope with that. Oh, this smells... I mean, I don't know if everyone will agree with me, but I think this smells so good. Can you see it? I've done something weird to the settings and I've made the focus go weird, but this smells so good. I can't believe this is coconut oil. 
Knowing my luck, but also probably want to eat it. Mine are obsessed with coconut oil. So, um, yeah, this is our exciting package from Wolfpack Pets. Gonna dispose of the paper now before the dogs ruin my life. Um, do. Daisy, you want some? Do you want some, boo-boo? I'll get you some in a minute. Indy, the little dog's bullying my big pig. Indy, the little dog's bullying my big pig. You leave her alone. Let her enjoy her. Is it all finished, Piggle? Um, yeah, we will definitely take some photos of them dressed properly in their new goodies, of course. And, um, yeah, you should definitely check them out. As you know, Indy and the girlies are brand ambassadors for Wolfpack Pet. I'm calling them Wolfpack Pet because that's their, their Instagram handle. Um, so if you guys want to get 10% off any of these goods, or actually they've just stocked a whole range of new bandanas, we've got ourselves a, um, red panda one because love red pandas, then, um, you should check them out and use the code IndiePom10 to get yourself 10% off your order. Um, yeah, I really genuinely don't think you'll be disappointed. I mean, look at how great these are. Can't wait to do my Harry Potter photo shoot or my Orange is the New Black one. Um, yeah, so that was that was all I kind of wanted to show today was just just kind of what we got from Wolfpack Pet, and uh, we hope you enjoyed it. And I'm sure I will be back making videos of other goodies soon. <laughs>